now for the email text field and for the password text field we will basically uh, write the reusable code so that we do not need to basically duplicate the same code again and again and this is the best practice do you know the professional developer always write a reusable code so we will follow that best practice as we are developing a professional TikTok clone application which will also increase your skills and I hope that you will learn some really incredible and new skills in this course from this course so yeah, let's just start working on that so first of all uh, we are going to create a widget right click on lib new and let's create a new folder a new directory we will give it name as widgets now right click on widgets new dot file and let's give it name as input underscore text input text underscore widget so this is our input text widget basically a reusable widget so inside the widgets we have our input text widget now let's import the material dot dot and we will create a statless widget and we will give it name as input text widget now this input text widget will receive something as parameters for example the first thing that it will receive will be the controller the text reading controller that is it is either a email text reading controller password text reading controller or it is a name text reading controller whatever it is it will receive that controller in here as a parameter let's give it name as controller or you can simply call it text editing controller like this then after it we have the icon icon uh, which we want to display in a input text field so that icon we must receive here so that is basically of type icon data and with some text field we will display icon and with some we will not display icon so that's why we have to make it nullable so we can say icon data now sometimes instead of icon as I told you icon sometimes we will use sometimes we will not use which simply means that sometimes this input text widget will receive sometimes icon sometimes we will not pass sometimes it will not receive okay similarly if in case let's say instead of icon we want to display an image file from the asset so in that case we have to pass the reference to that image file from the asset so of course that reference will be in string format and yeah it will not be with each with every time with every text field okay sometimes we will use uh, an image in a text field from the e folder or you can say from the assets okay that is from here let's say so we have to make it nullable that is it is not required always only sometimes according to the scenario and let's give it name as asset reference then we will have for the text field we need uh, label text so we can say string and it must be required with every uh, text field we must pass with it okay so that's why we are not adding the null ch the this thing okay which simply means that it can be or cannot be required according to the scenario however this simply means that this one will always be required so anyways let's just quickly write here label string and then of course sometimes you will have a password te password text field where the text we will want in dotted form that is in secure form so for that purpose you already know that we have a property for each text field which is is obscure s c u r e okay and now in the constructor of input text widget we have to receive these things this we have to pass first we can say this dot first we have text editing controller and which is 
must required okay which is must required that's why we have to write here with it required similarly after it we have icon data which is sometimes required and sometimes it is not required so we will just only say this dot icon data okay similarly asset, asset reference also it is not required always so we can simply say this dot asset reference and then we have the other ones which are required basically and that are the label string which is always required and is obscure as well now the rest of the thing we will implement okay now you will understand what it means when I say write a reusable code okay first we have to call this for the email and password okay this input text field so we can say for the email we can simply say input text widget okay and as you can see it has parameters which we must pass so let's quickly create the controllers for these two text field first we need a test a text editing controller for the for the email so we can simply say text editing controller and we will call it email text editing controller similarly we on the login we will have password so we can just say password text editing controller okay so now to the input text field for the email in order to implement text field for the email we can pass the controller as you know which is one of the uh, parameter okay text editing controller we are simply referencing to this thing which is text editing controller which is mu which is must required okay which we have to pass so that is for the email we have email text editing controller that is when the user types something on that field that text will be controlled by this email text editing controller so we are passing that email text to it as a parameter and it is receiving here as you can see then next thing is the label string so the label will be for the email it will be just email okay so this email string it is passed to the label string here and it is receiving here okay label string then we need to pass icon data that is for the email input field which icon we want to display so we have to pass that icon so we can simply say icons dot email underscore outline this one so to the icon data we are passing this icon which is receiving here okay and then of course the is obscure and we have to make this false as it is email field we do not want the email text to be in hidden form however the asset reference we do not need to pass from here okay as I told you guys that is sometime we may need it sometime we may not need it so anyways this is our email input then the next thing is the password so let's copy paste this down here so for the password we have password text editing controller then we have the label so we will say password and the icon for this will be lock underscore outline and then of course we want this text for the password to be secure that is in dotted form okay so yeah now as you can see we have basically write the code only one time now you will see that when we start implementing it that is when we start writing the code here then it will work for both of the fields so first of all the controller for the text field the controller we have to display so whatever the uh, controller we receive here as a parameter we will display that controller and then of course after it let's apply some decoration on it which will be our input decoration and inside that we will display the label text so whatever the uh, 
label string we receive as a parameter in our this label string variable we will display that okay on our text field then after comes the let me just install the app on the phone so that we can see the result on runtime okay so you can see the result that is we are just we have just write this code only one time okay we just display the controller which you can see this is the controller that is when users start typing in it and then we just display the label for it so you can see that we have write it only one time and it display it for both that is for the email as well as for the password so that is so cool and so nice let us just make it further more beautiful then we will display the icon for it so prefix icon icon data as you know that icon data sometimes we may need it sometimes we may not need it that is it is not required always so that's why we have to check that is if icon data is not equals to null then in that case we have to display the icon so we can simply say icon and then the icon data we have to display otherwise else if it if there is no icon that is if icon data become equals to null then in that case we will display some padding instead of it that is some space so inside that padding what we will do we will display the image that is let me tell you first we will display icon if we have icon okay if icon data not equals to null it simply means that we have to display the icon otherwise if it becomes equals to null that is if there is no icon data then we will display the image it simply means that we are displaying the image from the asset so we have to display that image file from the asset so we will say padding and then inside that padding we can say cons instead of icon if you want to display an image or you can say an image icon that is our custom icons our own icons if you want to display from the assets so we can say image dot asset and that asset reference which simply means the path to that image file which is inside the images folder okay which we will pass whenever we need it so anyways we will just display that as a reference that is that image file of course and make sure to add another check with it and the width for this will be 10 make sure to add here padding okay padding property which belongs to padding widget so padding from all sides will be at then child that image file we have to display so this is in the for the prefix icon then after the prefix let me just hot reload so you can see that okay according to the current scenario we have for the email text field we have email icon and for the password text field we have password icon then after it you can apply some style on the label so we can say labels the borders for these fields so let's apply that as well we can say enable border outline input border so the border radius will be border radius dot circular and from all sides 6 then border side const border side and we will specify the color for it so the color will be colors colors dot gray as you can see now this enable border simply means that when our text field is not active for example currently this email text field is not active so you can see this outline input border which is gray color as you can see the moment when I click on it it will become enabled so for that purpose now when any text field is enabled uh, wh what kind of color we want to apply on it or you can say what kind of outline we want to apply on it that property is basically called the focused border so we will apply the same thing on it so we can copy this outline input border and then that property which is focused border 
okay and now if I hold reload or to start you can see that and then after the input decoration we have obscure text that is to make it secure so of course whatever the input we receive in our this is obscure we will it will work according to that it can be either true or false for example if I tell you then for the email it is false that is email we do not want in secure form okay we want it like this however for the password it is true that is it will be in secure form that is in dotted form so automatically it is executing the code we have just write the code only one time as you can see and it is working according to that so anyways this was all about our this whole reusable code design for text fields now next thing is to make some space and make it more beautiful so what we will do is this email input let's wrap this inside a container wrap with container and let's apply some width on it so the width will be according to the screen size we will set okay whatever the screen size is we will take the width of it and it will adjust it according to that and then we will apply some margin const edge inserts dot symmetric and horizontally we want it to be 20 as you can see like this now the same thing property we will apply on the password input text field so let's wrap this wrap with container okay just like this remember when you want to wrap any widget for example this one okay so we, I will simply click here before this I and I will see this yellow bulb click on it and just wrap with container and same property we will apply which is width and margin for this so you can see that and now in between of course we have to add some space between the email input and password input like this and it will be 25 so anyways this is how we write a reusable code for example you can see that whenever now we need any other text field let's say if I want to add another text field let's say for anything it can be password it can be anything I have to just copy paste this that is I have to just call my input text widget input text widget I have to call and I have to just pass these parameters to it and it will just work according to it let's say for name I want okay so I will just say I will pass the label and the icon which I want to display with it alongside with it okay so you can see for name we add this new text field and so on I mean come on this is just you have to just call it you can see that so this is the advantages of reusable code that is now we do not need to basically uh, copy paste this whole piece of code again and again okay otherwise we have to copy this long piece of code again and again for each and every text field for example we have to write it for email then for password then for name so now we have just implemented only one time and we just call it we just call it input text field and all we just need is just we pass four parameters to it that is the controller the label the icon data and the is obscure that is it that's it so simple and so easy so that is really cool and really incredible